morning everybody this is t-a-e-s-j-a -E from the t-e-x-a-s coming to you guys live from lancaster texas over here at the night tr the swift transportation terminal i got hired on with night towards the end of last month and they decided to put me in, a, in an accelerated program called the top gun program over here in lancaster and pretty much what it teaches you is how to be more of a defensive driver the top gun program from night slash swift lasts for about one week um, and then after that after that one week of training you will get two to two to four weeks over the road with a trainer male to male female to female um, they do not allow um, opposite sex the opposite sex to uh, go over the road with each other I'm assuming because there have been too many incidents or just to avoid any potential conflict and you will be sleeping in the truck for the duration of the first week of the Top Gun program. Knight is one of those mega carriers that bought out Swift and um, will hire you um, whether you, you know, just graduated and got your CDL or, you know, you've been working for a year. Um, I can't say anything about how great the company is yet because I haven't um, even had the chance to go over the road with the trainer yet. Now the way that they pay you is they give you um, $800 orientation pay. Um, but before the orientation pay, you have to go through um, a driver qualification physical. This is something that only pertains tonight. And um, it's pretty much another DOT physical in a sense. Now be careful with the physical because um, I went there in the wrong kinds of clothes. I thought that, you know, they were just gonna do some quick measurements and, you know, send me on out the door. But no, they test your, your speed, your agility, and your strength. So when you come, make sure that you bring yourself, you come in some tennis shoes, and also that you come in some shorts because you will sweat and the weights will be heavy. Also, another note, um, I've heard of some drivers being disqualified um, at the uh, driver qualification physicals because they have had some um, sleep apnea. Um, they have to use a CPAP or you know their neck is too wide. So if you guys use a CPAP machine, make sure you tell them. Also tell them about any prescriptions that you may be taking. And if you have contact lenses, make sure you bring them. So the pay for Top Gun, for the Top Gun program is $500 DQP pay and um, 800 bucks um, for finishing the Top Gun program. Now, after that, there's going to be a waiting period for waiting on your trainer. Um, for the females, um, I was a little bit discouraged because for the females, we have to actually um, wait a little bit longer since there's actually a shortage of female drivers, uh, female driver trainers at the, um, at many of these trucking companies. Now me personally, I hold myself to a higher standard so that I can become a driver trainer myself. So I can help to fill the gap in a sense and make a difference for someone else like myself. So while you're in the midst of waiting every week, every Thursday, for each time that, you know, each week that you're not with a trainer, you're going to be um, getting paid 800 bucks every Thursday. They're going to um, pay you each time that you can't get a trainer. And also I think there is a difference in pay another difference in pay whenever you actually become um, a trainee and are on the truck over the road for the two to four weeks with a um, driver trainer. Remember, um, females with females, males with males. But for the most part, my experience with the Top Gun training program has been fantastic. Um, behind me, um, that's pretty much 
where we're training at, we're doing an obstacle course because we're testing out for graduation today. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, I've loved it. Like I've really seriously enjoyed like sleeping in my own truck. I just think that that's like the coolest thing ever. Um, especially for me since like I'm 22 years old and I want to get away from the house and away from my parents. <laughs> no offense to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> but I think after a while it becomes kind of like a, a pride thing. <laughs> There's a food truck that comes to the yard and will provide breakfast every morning for the truckers. Um, now, if you have any dietary restrictions like myself, um, whether that be vegetarian, vegan, or pescatarian, I'm a pescatarian, um, you're kind of out of luck. You can ask them. You can ask them if you want them to um, make like an egg and cheese or a potato egg and cheese, but more than likely that's not going to be something that they have on their menu. It's strictly um, chicken, chorizo, or beef. So I would advise you, if you come over here and um, you're going to do any kind of training that you do, go ahead and uh, get yourself some oatmeal or whatever else, fruits, vegetables that you may eat in the morning. Um, and also recognize that you're going to be in a truck so you definitely won't have a lot of time to um, you're not gonna have any kitchen um, so yeah <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get for lunch um, although you do know that um, Swift is going to Swift and I are gonna pay for your lunch so with that being said, that means that um, everybody gets fed. But more than likely, like I said, if you have dietary restrictions, there's a slim chance that you may not want to eat what they provide. Because from my experience with this one week that I've been here at the Top Gun program, it's going to be fast food. So it's going to be Chicken Express, Whataburger, Taco Casa, um, egg rolls and uh, fried rice and uh, fried chicken so make sure you guys come prepared for whatever your dietary restrictions um, may require for us most, most uh, for us um, bougie folk and lastly for dinner you will be the only one who's going to provide yourself dinner. They don't provide dinner. Only really lunch is provided by the company. But like I said, the food truck comes in the morning at its, of its own accord and it's typically here every morning to feed us truckers in the morning. Now I'll talk to you guys about the driving simulators. The driving simulators are actually pretty cool. Um, they're pretty much what, they're pretty much the driving simulators are pretty much what you would see almost kind of sort of what you would see if you were driving um, a car in an arcade so <clears throat> with the driving simulators you're going to be um, it's there to give you a heightened sense of um, what you'll be experiencing out here on the road before you experience it so, so the driving simulator before you experience it out it out in real life um, will take you through different weather conditions such as snow ice black ice rain and dry conditions oh um, high winds and fog but all in all um, the top gun program for night is pretty much a non pass or fail course that is um, where they have to choose at least three or four people it's typically a group of three or four they like to keep it intimate like you know closed and as small as possible so you know the information can be dispersed a little bit better and uh, you can have a, a much better experience of one-on-one -on -one trainer one-on-one -on -one, uh, training with your facilitator but it's a really fun way to get your defensive driving in. Um, now, when you're on the simulator, it is something that is recorded. It's not there to harm you. 
It's actually there to protect you just in case you ever do get inside in, a, in an incident where you have an accident. Did you do everything that you needed to do to prevent that accident from happening? Was it preventable? Was it not? Also, you guys, in any yard, you want to make sure that you're able to be seen. I know it may look tacky sometimes, ladies, but um, your safety is way more important. I will put the link down in the description for um, where I got this jacket. I, I believe I got this jacket off of Amazon, and it's actually cute, pretty cute. It's giving me bomber jacket feels and, you know, all that good stuff. So, that's the end of the video that I have for you guys today. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on anything that you may think would be beneficial for the next video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And, um, yeah. Have fun.